Yes, but well. back in the studio, we're still talking about the Abia uh, elections court judgment and several reactions have trailed that judgment since uh, the Court of Appeal in Oweri Division uh, set aside the election of the governor, uh, Dr. Okeze Ikbazu, and as the governor of Abia states and declaring Alex Oti as the winner. And one of such uh, people who have said that this is uh, fundamentally wrong is uh, a senior advocate of Nigeria, Chief Michael Zekome. But we have um, lawyers in the studio. We have uh, people from the People's Democratic Party and a representative from APGA in the studio. And this morning, uh, join me in welcoming uh, a legal practitioner, Mr. Fred Zako. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Uh, sitting by him is Barrister Carol Okura for a member of the uh, ABGA in Abia State. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. And on my left, we have Prince Tony Eze, who is a member of PDP Abia State. Thank, Thank you, you for joining for us. And of course, Chief Mwaka Inem ABGA Chieftain Abia State. Thank you. Okay, let me start with uh, uh, Barrister Nzako. Um, yes, we have heard different kind of interpretation and yes. people's reaction to this uh, court judgment. What's your take on it? In every um, judgment, most especially political judgments, you expect that there will be reactions. Uh, reactions to and fro, coming from people who are partisan, coming from people who have interests one way or the other, for or against the judgment. But um, I want to sound a very strong note of warning. Nigerians should stop this dangerous habit of criticizing court judgments unduly. Um, also, when um, such um, judgments came out of duly um, processed procedure, um, a judgment that um, proceeded from um, the actions of the tribunal, the lower court, and then um, went on appeal. And then I appeal court now giving the judgment, and then people very freely and easily criticize such judgments. Well, uh, another judgment will still come by the time Supreme Court gives this judgment. I wonder what those people will say, whether they will begin to even criticize Supreme Court um, judgments. Even those who are stark laymen, who really have nothing to, uh, to contribute to law, they will sit down in their armchair and begin to criticize. The issues about criticism will not help the development of the polity. I am strongly against the opinion of the learned student pocket, Michael Zekerman, because most of his criticisms are purely not only partisan as the lawyer to PDP, but also criticisms based on technicalities. And it's obvious, it's a settled matter that issues of technicalities no longer hold sway in, in legal matters. They don't. They don't. I mean, they, you cannot begin to look at, uh, these are three things that he mentioned, about the issue of uh, card reader not functioning and um, relying on card reader for, for decision and then um, the issue of disenfranchising the people, why would a three local government be cancelled? But we forgot that election held on April 11, 2015 and there was a supplementary election in, on account of the, the mess in the three local government on April 25th, 2015. And then um, there, there were differences in the outcomes of those elections and this court of appeal in its wisdom looked deeply into, into the, the decision of the lower tribunal and then gave a, a different verdict. Of course, it is, it is your right. <coughs> and uh, it, more so, it, is not, it was not even a split decision. It was a unanimous decision by the five justices of the Court of Appeal. And I will take exception to anybody who begins to, to batter the image of those justices. I mean, it's not, it doesn't go well for our polity. Okay, uh, Mr. Zako, just uh, hold your cannon <laughs> because I see You're that. To be the <laughs> Now, let me go to Prince Eze. Yes, please. Um, your party uh, is seem to be at the receiving end of this. Yes. What, what is the thinking right now? Well, um, having listened um, very well to the uh, senior uh, the, uh, uh, counsel he's here, um, first, I will want to agree with him that it is not necessary uh, going into... Uh, unnecessary um, uh, criticisms of the of the judgment as regards the judgment of the appeal court, but that does not mean that the the, the judgment cannot be criticised. It must be criticised. If it is not criticised, we cannot be able to develop our laws. Now there are issues that have been raised 
as concerning that judgment. Issue of the card reader that he talked about that Ozokume, Mike Ozokume uh, raised. Yes, of course, we are aware that on the 26th of August, a judgment was, give, was given in the case of Ambode versus uh, Abadio versus Ambode, where the Supreme Court declared that the issue of the card reader is no longer, I mean, where the appeal court declared that the issue of the card reader is no more, it's not, it's not supposed to have been uh, uh, taken into recognition, that it wasn't supposed to be valid in that election, and that as long as it was not recorded or within the ambits of our laws as regards the Electoral Act, that it shouldn't be part of what is supposed to be used in determining any election. That was the decision of the appeal court in, the, in Abadjo versus Ambody. Now, also, it's unfortunate, of course, just like the, the, the Chief Justice of the Federation, the Chief Justice of Nigeria um, uh, 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 expressed some worries um, a, few, a few days back about the dissenting uh, judgments of the appeal court. That, that is why I also pointed that it's necessary to criticize their judgments. Now, the, the Chief Justice of, the, uh, of Nigeria himself criticized the dissenting judgments as regards the position of the Court of Appeal in the case of Abadjo versus Sambode and the case of that concerned the two senators from River State who went to, to, to Appeal Court. That is um, uh, 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 Abe, uh, Senator Abe and um, uh, uh, Amakri, Dan Amakri. They went to, they appealed their judgments and the Appeal Court there and then, one of the things they, 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 they used in determining uh, the nullification of that election was that Ambo, uh, 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 um, INEC should have taken into recognition the use of card readers, which were not functional during that election. Also, that the voter uh, uh, registers were not properly utilized. So when you have such dissenting judgments, and you now want to part it with what um, uh, 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 Senior Advocate of Nigeria, as you mentioned, Omek Ozokume said, you cannot fault Ozokume because we have two, two different uh, uh, judgments from courts, two courts of coordinate jurisdiction. And you don't forget that both of them cannot, of course, uh, uh, supersede each other. So they will definitely rely on the uh, judgment of the Supreme Court in order to determine which of these positions is actually the position of law? Is it that the candidate which was supposed to be within the, uh, uh, um, the electoral guidelines that was validly nominated for use during the election, is it that it is valid or that the same candidate is not valid? It is, it is valid in one election and not valid in the other election. So what I'm trying to say here is this. Give and take. Okay, say Iqbaso is eminently qualified as to be the governor of Abia State. Okay. Giving them to Alex Oti. They are both eminently qualified. Of course, it's it's good news for your party. Yes, it yes. is. And your, your supporters are jubilating. But what do you have to say about... That this, these are facts. They made a statement. They, are, they published it. They even gave instructions to, the, to their staff down the line. So they never said that. That's the first correction. And then, um, surprised at what the senior advocate came to say yesterday. I just read it in the papers. To me, he didn't read the judgment. Because if he had read that judgment, 
or say some Mike. He, what Mike read the judgment, he wouldn't have come up with the things he came up with. And that is where I agree with my learned counsel. I, I don't think this discussion is about Mr. Zakome. Yes, it is, because he came out to condemn the judges and say things that were not right. The judges read every page of the proceedings at the tribunal. They even went as far as reading the cross-examinations. They brought this out to buttress their decisions. They did a very thorough job, those judges. The truth is that because it didn't favor uh, PDP, they are coming up with all sorts of reasons. If you look at what people are saying, they can't read that the, the uh, judgments that my my uh, my uh, my your brother, what my brother has just <laughs> said. You see, in law, every case is different. No, but, but can you, you, can be, you being the lawyer, how does how the two cases he cited? Yes, you how see, are they different? They are different. Talking because about the same thing. In, uh, in uh, the judgment in uh, Lagos State, what they said. Contrary to what he also said, is that card readers should not be used as the only evidence. No. That's, that's, that's the idea. No. But in Abia case, for instance, what we are saying in Abia is that these elections, they were violent. They were not done according to the guidelines of INEC. It is not only the card reader issue that is being raised in Abia. They were violence. 